first one, we have this present. I'm going to show you guys some stuff. We, we've got a present right here. I think you guys can see it. It's with the pineapple. Uh, it has the pineapple wrapping. All these presents were from the Mod Squad. So big shout out to all the mods who are watching. Um, thank you so much for 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 all of these gifts in advance. And and let's let's just open them and see what they are. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm never really sure whether you're supposed to rip. This is from Creamsicle. Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, this is the first gift we're gonna open. Let's uh, take it out of the package. Just leave the wrapping over there. Leave the wrapping. Okay. Um, okay. Actually, I have to be careful not to leak. Um, not to leak addresses. One second. I have to be very, very careful here. Um, okay. One second. Let me get some scissors. Um, here we go. I didn't leak anything. No. Uh, yeah. I have to be careful. What? Leaked. I didn't leak anything. I leaked it? No, I didn't leak anything. I didn't leak anything. No, I didn't leak anything. Did I? What? I leaked the paper on the right? No, no leaks, trolls? No, I didn't leak anything. Okay. Yeah, stop trolling me, you guys. Stop trolling. Yeah. No, no, they're trolling? Okay. Yeah, I got to be a little bit careful. Um, okay, one second. No, okay. Yeah. All right, so what is this? This is package number one. Okay. Um, okay. Package number one. Let's uh, put the scissors down for a second. Um, one second. The scissors down. All right, so what is this? This is the first package. Leave this on the floor as well. All right. Why is Denmark on my hoodie? Um, yeah, okay. All right, let's see. What do we have? This is the first one. What is this? Uh, what is this? This is a hoodie. Uh, what what does it have on the front? Oh, it's a pineapple hoodie. Nice. It has a. Uh, I think you guys can see it. Got like a nice little pineapple logo. Very very nice. Okay, very nice gift. Very nice first gift. All right, fantastic. Great first gift. Let me leave this over here. All right, let's keep going. Next package. Uh, this is the next one we have. It's it's pretty small. I wonder what it is. It's too is 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 it XXXL? Maybe it is. Uh, does it fit? Sure. Give me one second. Let me. I'll I'll check afterwards. Give me one second. Okay. Let me open this one. Be careful how I do it. So again, it's a it's a proposal ring. <laughs> it's it it's a proposal ring. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um. You hope that someone sent me a crate of pineapples. I actually have a pineapple at home, by the way. Just to be clear. Um, so yeah, what is this next thing we have? Um, oh, so it's some kind of watch. One second. This is actually a, a watch. Let me see. I didn't even look to see what it is. Come on. Focus. Focus. Is focus camera? It's a, it's a Timex watch. For some reason it's not focusing, but... Uh, it's a Timex watch with a, um, the Timex watch with, uh, what's it say? It says, uh, it's a, it's a water resistant Timex. Nice. Very nice watch. Yeah. Timex. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I showed, I showed it on, um, on stream. I mean, I can, I can try to show it again, but it's not, it's not zooming as, uh, yeah, there you guys go. Yeah. All right. Dip it in a bowl just to confirm. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Let's two up. Next one. We have, we have a third package. This is the third package as well, by the way, you guys. So let's, let's open this one. All right. So what is this one? Let's see. This is something. Um, what is this? Down here. This is the third one. Oh, whoa. I think these are pineapple glasses, actually. These are like pineapple sunglasses. So I guess I'm gonna be wearing them for the rest of the stream. Um okay, yeah, these look like pineapple. These are pineapple sunglasses. So let me put them on. Give me one second. Um let me let me open this, of course. Wear wear them all? Yeah, wear them, of course. Okay. Yeah, they're they're um it's a package of three pineapple sunglasses. So this here. Is it carnival here? No, my birthday was two days ago. Let's see, how do they look? Okay. Let's see, 
They look pretty good, don't they? All right. So there we go. Okay. Okay. So so there we go. So yeah. So here are my pineapple sunglasses. So this is the second pack. Of course, you guys can see them right here. Um. So yeah, very nice. Right. Funny thing is now I can't tell an OBS if they're flurry or what's going on. But yeah, of course this is this is uh it protects me from blue light too, right? Protects me from blue light. Um, all right, let's keep going. What what else do we have? What's up? What's up next? Next up we have we have another another package. Um, it's RFLCT, right? I, I look a little bit like Elton John. Oh man, these are pineapple shirts, by the way. Um, this over here. Okay, what do we have? We have this. Which is, um, I think it's a, it's a pineapple T-shirt. I might I might go and wear it later. We'll we'll see. But it's pretty good. Okay, why is it not opening? Second. Okay. Hmm. Whatever. I guess I'll just rip it open. Just give me one second. Uh, I'm looking fly like a G60. Yeah, I look pretty normal so far. I'll, I'll play some blitz with these two. I'm mean, these are these are not coming uh these are not coming off. Okay. We have a shirt which I'm opening. Um do an entire stream with these. Yeah, I, I'll probably stream the rest of the day with these. Okay. So we we have this this is a um pineapple or not? I can't tell. Let me take this off. This off. Um let's see what is this? Looks like uh I think you guys can kind of see what what the what the design is. It looks like flowers. It's not pineapples, but it's a nice uh it's nice Hawaiian style. It looks like uh, flowers. It's his it it's Hisdern. H I S D R N is is the company. Nice, very nice. Um, it arrived. Yeah, all the packages arrived. So I'll I'll leave this here for now. And of course we have another another hoodie. Um, what is this hoodie? This is a this says live or love. Sorry, love, love with a pineapple. I will probably wear this a little bit little bit later on when I take my next break. I'll put this on and wear this. Uh, yeah, it arrived. Yes, exactly. Put that there. Um, we have a couple more packages. We have this one. Not sure what. Not sure exactly what this package is. Interesting sizing. Um. Yeah. Oh, it says live or love. I can't tell because in the pineapple shape, pineapple shaped like an O. Yeah, pineapple shaped like an O. So okay, one second. What do we have here? Give me a second. We have another one. What is this one? Okay, this says. The brothers at Ota. This this looks like kind of Hawaiian or something. I'm I'm not sure. Let's see. What what do we have here? What do we have? What is this? The brothers at Ota. Oh, well, this is coming with me to um to Warsaw, I think probably. I took everything out. Yeah, I did. Um, the brothers at Ota. Okay, so this is uh, this is pineapple um pineapple socks. It looks like I this, these are socks. You guys should see them again. With pineapple socks. Um, and then additionally, we have a pineapple tie. So I'm going to say that this, for whatever reason, I will probably, um, I will take this to Warsaw and I'll probably wear them both. And Fide is probably going to find me for, for like breaking their dress code with, you know, quote unquote bright colors. But I don't, I don't really, I, I, I don't even remotely care. So uh, you'll probably see me wearing this in about a week and a half. Those ties are actually expensive. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, because Fide, Fide has something which says, um, "Will they wear me? To, will they allow me to wear the glasses? Glasses? I don't think so. But the tie, they can tie whatever. I, I really, I don't. As I said before, I don't even remotely care. All right, and we have another big package right here. This is pretty big, um, as well. Yeah, Fide has a rule for the World Blast Blitz and Rapid that says no color, no bright or colorful clothes. But as I said, I don't remotely care. They can find me. I really, I, I just don't care. Um, all right. So what's up next? The glasses are pres prescription. Yeah. Um, okay. What else do we have? We have something else. What is this? The Lum luminosity. Oh, this looks like a. This looks like a light, I guess. Right. Looks like a light. Um, is this? Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it's um. Oh, very nice. Very very nice. Uh, sorry, wrong way. Very nice. I, I will definitely put this up as well. Um, that's cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, I'll take it out of the package just so you guys can see it as well. Um, take this out. This. 
second. Yeah, so yeah, so very nice, very nice. Yeah, so you hang it up and um you, you just you hang it up and it's uh it's pretty cool. Nice, very nice gift. Why is everything about pineapples? Because um uh because pineapples are pineapples. All right. Because now we have one more gift as well. One more gift. Let's see what this is. Try to open it and see what it is. Hang it up. I mean, I can't I can't easily hang it up on the wall behind me right now, so it'll have to do. All right, there's one more gift. It's in, in an actual clock this time. Down, down here. All right, let's use my scissors. Give me one second. Again, don't want to leak my address, so give me one second while I open this. How do I look with the glasses, by the way? I think I look pretty good, right? You guys can tell me how I look. Um, well, let's see. Also, as far as you guys asking why is everything bananas, um, uh, bananas is because, or not bananas, sorry, pineapple is because it's become the theme of the channel over the past like year and a half or two years. So yeah, that's the reason for it. Okay, all right. I literally leaked myself, yes, thank you. Appreciate it, all right, what do we have? Is this? Why is it not coming out? Styrofoam, that's why. All right. Second. All right. Second, we'll just go over here. Shake it. Yeah, GM technique, exactly. Totally. Totally. GM technique at its finest, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. That looks so wrong. Oh, what? Because I was shaking it? What do you mean? I was, I was shaking the package. What? I was shaking the package. What What do you mean? Oh, you're, you're, oh, you're going to say that it looks like, oh, it looks like, a, it looks like I, I'm doing something else. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Too late. Okay. Yeah. So on, on Reddit, we're going to see, uh, we're going to see like, we're going to see GMP car. We're going to see, this is how GMs uh, do something, right? Yeah. All right. Um, what is this though? Man, I hate, I, I have to say I hate styrofoam though. And I really do hate it. Second, let me just stop. Okay. So what else do we have here? We have something else in this package. Give me one second. Um, yeah. No, it's, it's gonna, this probably gets clipped in. I'm gonna, whoa, holy. Oh my god, what is this? Oh jeez, this is huge. Whoa. Crazy. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is uh, amazing. Just give me one second before I make a total disaster out of this room. Um, yeah, so here's what we have. Yeah, we have this. Oh, this is very beautiful. One second. Uh, this is actually like a lamp. Wow, this is very, very nice. Uh, one second. Um, yeah, this is a this is a lamp. Very very nice. Um, let me close this so you guys can see it. Yeah, this is a lamp. Very very beautiful. It's beautiful. You plug it in and it lights up. Very nice. I love lamps. Yeah. Um, I don't actually have an outlet right now, so I can't can't really plug it in anywhere. But it's very 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 nice. I'm gonna leave it right here for the moment. Um, and that's that. Okay. Styrofoam, styrofoam, yuck. All right. Anyway, you guys, yeah. I forgot that I was live. Okay, actually, I have to, I have to, thank you once again to the mods, by the way. Also, additionally, we have a, a birthday, birthday card from the mods. This is happy birthday card from the mod squad. So it's very, very nice. Down here, the last part. I'm becoming an average Twitch streamer now. Yeah, I am. All right, what, what does it say? It says, you handsome, <laughs> nice, very nice, very nice. And probably there's something inside. Um, yeah, nice. Fantastic. All right, you guys. Okay, so packages, yeah. <laughs> Car is going to say, let us out of the basement. True. No, oh, but those are some great gifts. Thank you so much to the Mod Squad once again for all those gifts. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. So on that note, let's let's try to play some blitz. Let's see if I can play good 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 chess or or bad chess. But let's let's let's, let's try to play some chess and keep rolling right along. Let me put the music back on.
Give them a return gift? Yeah. Um, I did recently give all the mods a, a $500 Amazon gift certificate. So I, I do try, I try to help them as much as I can. Um, they know who they are. I do appreciate all the gifts. Thank you so much. Can I actually see anything? Well, we're going to find out. Let's try to play some Blitz. Of course, my rating is kind of on the mend. So let's see if I can keep it on the mend or if it's going to go down. But yeah, we're going to play some Blitz for a little bit. Okay, Mechanic's not playing Blitz. Somebody's got to want to play Blitz. Um, Jaula, I don't know who this is, but let's keep going. Yeah. I was looking to see if there's a reflection or not, but it doesn't look like it. Also, someone someone put a clip. Um, someone put a clip. Yeah, I'm on the wrong scene, right? Here we go. Yeah. Oh, let's challenge Buddy Pranav. Oh, this guy wants to play. Jalo wants to play. Okay, plus five. Let's go G6, Bishop G7, maybe D6. Um, and keep rolling. Emil and Nigel are probably rolling their eyes, so be it. Okay, let's play A6 here. I'll go C6, D5. Keep it simple. Maybe Bishop G4, maybe take. Let's go here. I had a I had a dream about you. <laughs> Funny. Um, but anyway, yeah. All right. So let's so let's play h5, maybe 96, knight of five here. Take, let's go here. 97, of course. Let's go h4. All right, I'm gonna play here, maybe knight of five. 97 first, maybe is more important. I'm gonna go rook c8, c5. Okay, I don't know what rook f1 actually is. The idea g4, I guess it is. Okay, so I trade and go like c5. What's happening? He takes, I take. 92 looks like a bad move. Maybe not a bad move, but not the best move for sure. Okay, let's go here. Trade some queens. Yeah, I see the video about Magnus II. So yeah, I, I heard about it. Um, now I can play queen h5 maybe to hit the knight. Knight g3, I guess I trade. Plays knight d4. I guess I'll take and go here, target the pawns all at the same time. Okay, that's a free pawn. I guess I will take it gladly. Oh, F4 was hanging. Why did I take F4? Whoops, that was a mistake. Okay, now what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to manually run my king back over this way. I mean, the thing is my king is a little bit iffy here. So I think I'm going to try to run my king to G8. Go here. I have queen f5. I also have rook c7, maybe. Rook c7, bishop g5. I mean, the question is, is bishop g5 a problem? And I don't, I don't know if it is, but I think it, I think it actually is. So I'm, I'm just going to, huh, I want to trade bishop, so I don't have a good way. Let's just go here, consolidate. This a3, logical move. Very, very logical. Um, huh, why did I let him get the bishop here? Very poor. How did I misplay this? I guess I'll go here. I got to move quicker. I'm just too slow. I guess I'll try to trade some bishops, maybe. Now he doesn't have bishop e7, at least. So I should be okay here. He takes. I'm kind of actually... I'm actually really kind of surprised by that move. I guess I'll take. I have to be very careful how I play this. Yeah, he goes queen a7. But now I go here to hit the rook and the pawn. Should be winning. Thank you to Brungamore. Thank you to Swivel Chair. Thank you to Zach Winter. Thank you to Drinking Hobbit. Thank you to Luigi. Thank you to Big Bear as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, I can take D3. I think I should probably just take F4. Hard to believe this isn't winning for me, by the way, especially with the active queen and the active rook. I guess I'll go here to hit the pawns all at once. D4, maybe checkmate. All right, so far so good. 1 0 with the glasses. Let's keep rolling. Go here, bishop b2, maybe d4. Keep it simple. Let's go e3 here. Let's go here, and I guess I just castle. What, what's what's wrong? Everything looks good, no? Let's castle, play c4. Glasses hack, not legal. <laughs> yeah, glasses not legal, totally. Totally. But anyway, okay, I'm going to go here and take with the bishop, I guess. All right. Uh, I think I'm just going to play Rook D1, maybe Rook AC1. Glasses speed. Yeah, actually, you know, that's, you know what's sad about this? That's what's really sad about chess. It's actually, honestly, you can't, like, even themed glasses like this in a real tournament, you couldn't wear them because basically, yeah, it could be like Google Glass. I mean, it's sad what the world's come to, but 
it is the reality of the world we live in, unfortunately. I guess I'll go here in Rook D1. Yeah, it really is quite sad when you think about it. Like, we just can't, you just can't, there's a classic saying, you can't have nice things, you can't have nice things in life, right? And that's, that's what this is, totally. It's totally true. Uh, you can wear normal glass, I believe, but, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's sad, but that, that is the reality. Oh, he takes, wow, I'm surprised he took. Yeah, but now I can go, like, maybe Rook D5. I mean, this is starting to look good for me. Go here and take with a pawn, D6. The E4, I go 91, I guess. Pretty sure you can wear regular glasses. Yeah, regular glasses you can, but I'm just saying, like, the problem is, like, there, there are all these cheating issues now. I go here. I, I guess, yeah, I guess Knight C7 or something. Go E4, consolidate. It's Queen D7. That's kind of a weird move. I guess his idea is to play for Knight B5. Okay, but I go here in Knight C4. And I should be better here. I, I have a protected pass pawn going up the board in the long run, so I should be good. Let's take with the Queen, not the pawn, because the Queen A4. F4, continue to put pressure. Maybe rook F1 and F5. He can't take, so let's go here. Takes, I take F6. And then there's an open diagonal. So he goes King G7. I mean, I feel like this pass pawn should be winning somehow. So let's trade. Go here. This is wrong. I think I'm going to go A5 maybe. Try to open up the uh, queen side here. If I take... I can play rook f3, maybe. I can also just trade. I'm going to try this and just take. Interesting. He doesn't actually take. I guess I'll go here to offer a trade. I take. I have f4 here. This might be good for me. I don't actually know if it's winning, though. He goes king f6. Oh, he plays b4. So I guess I go queen. Queen a1, I guess. This must be right. Let's c4. Logical move. So I obviously take. If I go up. Now, which way do I take is another question. My instinct says take with the queen. But I also feel like queen c1 is a, is a move here, too. Very tough. I mean, it is a pawn. A pawn is a pawn any way you look at it. I think this is right, though. I got to get my king close, though. Okay, so... So now I take... Oh, he's got g5, which I forgot about as well. I go c5, there's nothing. I go here and take, maybe? The queen c3, I can always trade. Okay, now, now I just have to run the pawns and hope. Uh, if I go here, b3, d6, b2, d7. If I go, can't really trade. Or I, I can trade, but it's just a draw. I think everything is just a draw. So I'm going to go here and make the draw, I guess. I also have no time, I just realized as well. So I think I have to just make the draw. Yeah, I just have to make a draw. I, I can't um, can't go for broke here. Unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, I, I have no time. I mean, I, I just have to make the draw. Yeah, I, I can't go for broke. I still gain points. I'm plus two, so it's okay. I think it's a chonky bonky for the tier one. I should have won that game. That was very, very careless of me. Okay, let's play more, more standard stuff, like bishop d7, I guess. Go here. Do Bob Karyak and Beef? I mean, I, I kind of spoke about it a little bit. Um, but it, it is what it is, as they say. Let's go here and here. I mean, I wouldn't personally do it, but I don't know why it's such a big deal. Because do do it's not like the Dubov games were the reason that that do uh that uh Nepo lost. That's what that's why I find it all very weird. Thank you to NH Wall for the prime. Let's take go here. Trade takes. Queen F3, probably. Uh, this guy knows the line. That's not not a good sign. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to take here and take on h3. Okay, this guy appears to know this line by heart or something. I'm really kind of confused what this is. Go here. If he takes, I take. I, I go and I come back and he has glasses on. Yeah, so I think I take and play rook h8. Go here. Oh, I also had king f7 first, maybe, but still. 
I take, and now I go check and take, and I'm just winning. Very, very weird. I think he missed queen h3. Okay, we got a win. So so far, so good. If we win two more, we're just right back to um, we're right back to 3180. So I'm, I'm gonna try to push for 3200 on the stream if I can. What I think about Magnus's team, pretty standard, nothing too crazy. I I don't know what the big deal is. I didn't know Elton John was so good at chess. Yes, Elton John is a great chess player. You didn't know that? Um, yeah, Elton John is a great chess player. Actually, I think just for that, I'll, I'll change the song in a second. Let's go here, maybe Castles. Um, I'll put on a, a remix. I actually like this, even though it's not, even though it's not like, even though it's not like not, not the best song ever, I actually kind of like it. A castle here, play like rook c1. Okay, I also have 95 9 of 3 here. Is it a joke or am I actually V? What do you mean? Let's go here and rook, rook d1. Louder? I think it's good. Am I low or what? Am I low? No, no, my volume is very good. I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost peaking actually. I can obviously take, but I think b4 is still fine with bishop a1. Hopefully, I'm not blundering here. Whoa, that's a little bit bold. Okay. I, I guess I'll go c5 and bishop d4. Maybe. I don't know if it's right. Now, I always have a3. I think I'm going to play a3, create a weakness here. Go here, maybe bishop c2, maybe b5, b6. I should be better. I just don't know how much better. I hit the pawn. I mean, I have queen d4. Go here. Probably I play rook d4, maybe. Maybe not. Um, I think I'm just going to go f3, stop knight e4. Again, if he moves the bishop, there are always are problems. So let's just go like... Uh, I guess I'll go here and rook d1. How do I rotate is the question. I guess I'll go here. I do have e4, maybe. I really don't want to play f4, but you know what? I think f4 is actually just a good move here. I thought I could go g4. Yeah, g4 and f5 should just be winning here. Because the diagonal is going to kill him, I think, in the long run. Although he does have d4, I realized. I kind of forgot about that. Well, if I take with a rook bishop d5, I do have e4. So if I take g3, rook d2, I think I'm still okay. I, have now I can obviously sack here as well. And e6, he still has g3, though. So it's kind of tricky. So I guess I go e4 then. And if g3, I just take. I mean, this has to be winning. Now, do I play rook d5 is also a question. Rook d5, knight f3 is no good. Rook d5, rook d5, e d5. This is weird. Very, very weird. Um, I think I take this way and go rook d2. Because now rook d5, I just move the rook to f2 and I'm winning. Okay, I Take the rook, of course. Okay, this has to wait. This must be winning somehow. It's actually still quite tricky, though. Let's go here on bishop d4. I'm going to find a clean way to win. Queen h8, king f7, queen e8. There's some, some funky trick there with a g3, and I'm losing. So I guess I'll just take this one. Okay, this must be winning. Just c6 and takes. Okay, I take. I have b5. I mean, this has to be winning. I guess I go. I'm, how am I so slow on the clock? I just realized somehow I'm always low. Go here in B7. Okay, now I just run the pawn. I win. This guy's really fast or something. I just block G3. I just take. I have a7, b7. I win by one tempo. Now, this guy's really fast. If 
But he's not gonna survive this. And now I just go here and he's mated. Mated in one. Go here, here. I know if I'm slow. I don't know. I can't tell him I slow or is he just moving too fast? That's what I can't tell. Like, I think, he, I think he's just moving super fast, but I could be crazy. I'm just reading chat. No, he's moving really fast, I think. Or, I mean, I, I could be wrong on that. Whoa, he did this? I take... What is this? Oh, I knight of two as well. Why don't I go knight of two there? I'll go here, I guess. I'm like queen e7, I guess. What is he doing? Actually, I feel like he's suddenly on tilt out of nowhere. I go knight d7 in castles, which I don't, I just don't understand why. Like, why is he suddenly on tilt? Like, it's only three and a half half. It's not, and it's not like he's been struggling. Like, he's been doing fine in most of these games. I also should not have castles either. I walked right into this. I might just get mated here somehow. Yeah, this is just insane. Why did I do this? I'm probably going to get checkmated here. Yeah, that was just insane by me. <sighs> I guess I'll go here to hit the pawn on d4, maybe. Is there an actual mate is the question. If I play knight d4, I don't see a mate. If he has a mate, so be it, kind of. That's my attitude here. If there's an actual mate, so be it. He's thinking for a long time. And in fact, I don't really see it. Because if he takes with a queen, I go king b8. If he takes with a bishop king b8, there's still no queen b4. I mean, I think, I think I'm think i okay here. Queen h8 was mate. No, it wasn't. There was king f7, queen h8, g3. My glasses tilt people themselves. Yeah, exactly. Um, But no. Yeah, he takes bishop a6, king b8, and there's no mate. I'm very lucky, but... There's no mate, but it's still not easy to play. Trying to come with something, though. Still might, it still might only be a draw, honestly. He goes knight b6, which I think is just wrong. Um, What's the actual threat is the question. Knight d7, I take. I know that this is not right, but why is it not right? Knight c5, maybe? Knight c5, bishop d3 king b7 maybe i mean like i'm sure this is wrong i just can't quite figure it out maybe bishops oh man i know this is wrong computer would spit it out in two seconds but i'm just too stupid to figure it out ah it's knight b7 actually yeah yeah it's knight b7 that's what it is it's 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 king c7 so if queen b4, I have king a7 or king c7, I thought. Wait. Let's go here. Now I go... Do I go to a7 or c7? He's still very fast. But fast won't mean anything when I can when you're just losing on the board. Oh, he's got rook f3. Jeez, I didn't even see that. Go here and queen b7. I mean, I'm very close to just being winning here. Yes. Here. Here. And now I take the knight and he resigns. Yeah, I mean, I don't even care. I just take. Yeah, this is just losing. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very good. Okay, so now I just trade. I take. And he's just down two pieces. He resigns. Okay, let's go one more. Let's go here. Queen h8 was me. No, I'm, I'm going to pull that up in a second, you guys. Unless I'm just insane. Let's go here. Castle. I could be insane, of course. It's, it's likely I could be. This 94, I don't actually love that move. But I think eh, it's probably an okay move, though. This guy's not bad, actually. He's, he's pretty decent. He's got good attack. He's got good attacking instincts. Um, okay, he goes there, so I'll go here, hit the pawn. 
He has good attacking instincts. Um, we'll go here, maybe knight f1. He's going to go queen g6, I guess. Oh, wait, then I have g4, maybe. Okay, let's see. Knight b3 is also reasonable here. I'm going to go here in knight g3, though. It looks, it looks more correct. I can always just take and move the queen out of the way. Maybe I could have traded first, but it still looks fine. Engine says queen h8 was made. Okay, thank you. I'm going to take and go queen b3 here. If d2, I have rook a2. Goes there. I also, yeah, I think I go here in rook a8. I, I also have moves. Although, this is kind of not what I wanted to do. I'll go here in knight f1. Eh, not, not what I wanted. Let's put some other, let's go back to the playlist. I don't know what this is. We'll go here in ninety two. Block the pass pawn. I always have e four. I have c five, b five at some point. I've actually won queen c three also, or this. It's not the dream, but it should be okay. Okay, I'll go here. Bishop f five. I have knight f one again. I also have e four maybe. Bishop h three, knight f one, queen g five, king h two. Let's go for this. Might be wrong, but I'm gonna go for it. Okay, he actually has no interest, so I'll go knight f1. Probably c5 next move. Try to expand here on the queen side. I gotta, I gotta use these pawns if I can. Uh, let's just go here, offer the trade. Oh, I had f4 there too, which I missed. Let's go c5. Maybe rook c1, maybe b5. I feel like I'm starting to actually o o outplay him in this position. A little bit. Not like completely or anything, but just a little bit. I have b5, c6 coming in here. They get a Tevamer for the prime. Okay, that feels like a mistake. Let's go here. Was e5. That also does not feel right. Let's go here. Now I have knight c4. I also have f4. He's starting to misplay this, I feel like, quite severely. If I go f4, do I take? I think I take and play like knight e4 here. Or c4. Wait. This actually looks right. Now I have knight d6 as well, because the queen guards the rook. If I trade. Oh, that was maybe... Eh, that was kind of not right. I'll go here. Here, maybe king f2. Time is actually even, so... Go here. Go here, maybe knight d4 is an idea. Hack the bishop, maybe knight b5 or something. Go here, I have knight d6, I, I hit the pawn. Yeah, now now he's starting to he's starting to falter a little bit. It's still, it's still fine for black, but he's... Wow, he just sacks. Okay. So here, maybe a5. It's going to be very hard for black to, to win this. Or not win this, but survive this. Okay, I can play here, I guess, because I have rook c5. Okay, I can also go king e1, but I think a5 is right here. Although I... Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to misplay this a little bit. I am misplaying this quite a bit, in fact. I play b5, he takes a5. I go rook g7, maybe. To hit the pawn. Take. I mean, you can obviously take. He's still moving, I feel like, very, very fast, though. I take. He should not have done this, by the way. But this is still very unclear. I take. Check, and then I go here. Wait, king d2 I thought was a mistake. Wait, wait, wait a second. I should have something here. Wait. I should have something. I just don't see it right off. Uh, okay, I guess I just use this pawn. Uh, okay, I don't know what that does. I just go here. I got to move. Why am I thinking so long? That was a mistake, too. Now I have f7 and king e3, and I win the game. Okay, now I get the win. There we go.
Okay, now I just do a stare just so you guys can see it. Okay, we got the dub. Good win. Let's go again. We'll play like G6, Bishop G7. I feel like I'm beating this guy at a good enough clip right now that I can push for 90. Thank you, Duke, for the 31. Let's go here in D5. I feel like I'm pushing at a good enough clip. Go do some prep for Poland. Thank you. Appreciate it. Much love. I, I said before, I'm a streamer first. How many times do I have to say it? Uh, I'm playing with house money. I will do prep off stream. But again, we've only been streaming like three hours so far. So it's not like some like crazy. This isn't like some nine hour stream or something. Yeah, it's not some nine hour stream. Queen H8 is mate. Yeah, Queen H8 is checkmate. Exactly. Um, Yeah. Imagine prepping for blitz. Exactly. Streamer second, chess player first. Indeed. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to take or not. I'm not really all that concerned, but whatever. Go here, bishop e7, reroute. I can play a5. I don't really know. I think I'm just going to go here. I'm not really all that worried. Maybe knight f8, g6 actually makes sense here too. No, this guy is this guy is pretty good though. I will say. I'm going to castle. It's a little bit bold, but I can also close the queen side with a6 maybe. I'm probably going to actually walk my king back to the king side now, which is kind of funny. We'll see. Queen h8 was checkmate. Okay. I look different today. Thank you. Uh, he gives up a pawn. I mean... Okay, so he, goes, so he gives me a second pawn, which I can grab, but I... I don't really know if it works. Okay, I'm just going to take. Let's Let's figure this out. Okay, how do I... Okay, so I guess the question is, I'm going to go king a8. If he takes, I just take and I take. Okay, wait, there's actually an a pawn hanging too, but I, I don't really believe in it. So let's go, let's go here. If he takes, I will just take. Let's go here, guard the pawn. And now I should win because I have knight a7, b5 to clog it. I can just, I can plug the hole on b5 and then I hit the pawn on d4. Go here, knight b5. And take, obviously, I guess. But this doesn't feel right somehow. He takes. Okay, so of course I take with the c pawn, not the a pawn. I can just take and go rook c7. Okay, yeah, now, 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 I'm, now I'm doing very well. Now, now I should win the game. He might even resign here. It's just gotten that bad, that out of control for him. Go here. So now everything is safe. Okay, so everything is safe on the queen side. So what I need to do is I just need to basically go here, king c7. Eventually I'll bring the bring the bring all the pieces around. Go here, queen g7, of course. Or queen h6, I guess, to hit the pawn. Now I guess I oh he just resigns. Wow. Okay. Let's go here. Oh, he, he resigned because it was he was just losing. Okay, let's play the Levitzen Gambit here. Uh, which I believe is E4. Yeah, I won a very bad game against Duda in this. Duda lost in like 10 moves. We had a game in this. This is really, really bad. Uh, G6 is wrong, but is it because of H4? I believe it's because of H4, H5, if I remember this line correctly. Knight H7 is also a move here, but not clear. Yeah, so we're three away from 3,200. Let's go H5. F3 of takes, I go G4. I mean, this guy's like, I don't know if he's like on auto tilt or what's going on, but... He's lost his mind completely here. Yeah, he's he's completely lost his mind. Okay, he plays bishop h6. So I know I'm winning here. I just have to be smart about how I play this. I can go king f1, which is probably winning. But somehow this doesn't look as easy as it should, which is just kind of weird. I can also go queen d2. I'm going to go here, maybe queen h2. It's kind of a weird way to play it, but I think it's simple. Yeah, let's go here. How's my Saturday going? Pretty good so far. We're um we're almost at 3,200 again. Almost. Let's take. Yeah, but this this has to be just winning for me with some good good technical moves. Like I don't know if I think knight c3 is a good technical move. Maybe. Uh, I just go here. Yeah, this guy's on tilt now. I don't really know why. He's just completely on tilt. Go here. C6 d5. I guess. Let's go. Yeah. Let's just go here. 
Oh, uh, we already did a view arena. I mean, I could do another view arena, but I, I, I don't really want to. Go here, it just takes. Go here and here. Castles, interesting choice. I guess I go here and takes, maybe. We'll go Bishop F2, obviously. Or will he? Maybe not. Huh. I guess I have to take. I guess I'll trade and go like Queen A5, maybe. And C5, maybe I just castle long, even. I think I'm going to go... Yeah, I think I'm just going to castle long and maybe play for C5 next move. Probably he'll go like Knight E2. I'll go C5. That might have been a blunder, but he missed it, thankfully. Okay, let's go. Let's go here, maybe Rook C8. Not a whole lot happening. This H4, that's a weird move. I go H5. With G4, I just trade. I don't really like H4. He goes G4 anyway, so I take, of course. I play Knight B6, Knight C4. I mean, I guess the idea he has is he wants to go H5 to undermine the chain. Again, I don't want to get too deep into the weeds here, thinking too much. Uh, but I'm thinking knight b6, knight c4 makes sense. Go here. And obviously just take, I guess. He takes with a rook. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to play here, hit the bishop on g4, maybe. I'm threatening bishop e5 and rook g4 as well. Thank you to Chief, uh, Chief Bull Gaming for the prime. Thanks for Chief Bull Gaming. appreciate it. Uh, I think I'm going to go... Here, guard the pawn, hit the bishop, I have rook g2, I have queen b6. I mean, this looks very, very scary for white. Let's go here. Target the pawn. I'm threatening maybe takes and bishop a3 as well. King a1. Um, logical, logical choice. I can play rook c8. I mean, I want to go bishop. I think I'm just going to take and play like bishop c5 here. Try to keep up the pressure here on the center of the board. I have a knife on c4, which is, should be very powerful. It's also a blunder of a pawn, so I'm pretty happy with that. Is that a blunder of the game? Not quite. So I take, takes, knight of three is queen of four check, winning the knight. If I go queen d6, I don't see any moves. Rook h5, I can obviously take. I can also just take. Let's just take and then move the knight, I guess. Or back to c6 even. Takes the rook. Wait a second. Is that. Wait, is there no ch checkmate? Rook f8, queen e5, rook g1, rook d1, there's no mate. Very annoying. Okay. So, in that case, let's... A can go like here, I guess. He's got to go like queen d1, and I'm going to stack on the 7th here. Let's go here. Hit this, I have rook g2 next move. Very, very scary here. Um, Maybe not. Actually, let's go a5, stop rook b4, and then I go rook g2 next move. Rook d2, human move, very, very human. I'll go here, cover the fourth rank. I mean, I'm going to try to win somehow on this queen side. I'm very close to winning here. I think I'm going to go go here, attack the pawn. <gasps> oh, man, I blunder. Oh, my gosh, I'm so lucky I have queen c7. And now I think he loses the game. Okay, oh, wow, that was very, very poor by me. Oh man, I actually blundered that way. So, but of course, because it's me playing, magically I'm winning anyway, I think. Oh wait, no, maybe I'm not. He's got queen e5. Wait, so I go queen f1? Wait a second. I think queen f1 is just winning, actually. If he checks, I go here, he checks, and I block. Yeah. Because it's me, I blunder, but it's still winning. Or is it? No. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Or is it? No, it's not. I think I, I can make the draw. Th maybe. Oh, no, I can't. I lose. Stupid. I just hung queen e5. Jeez. Terrible. That was unbelievably bad. That was, thir was 3200 right there, wasn't it? Go here. Let's three folks in. Okay, two games, two games. Or no, three games. I want to get back to 3190. It's, still, it's plus four. I mean, at plus four, I should be able to beat this guy pretty soundly. Go here and take. Queen d6. Yeah, I didn't see queen d6. Or I would never have done that. But such is life. Okay, plays h5, which I don't believe is a good move. 
That's so tragic because that was, that was 3,200 right there. I would have been 32 if I hadn't done that. Oh, man. I can't believe that I did that. He plays rook b8. I don't know what rook b8 really does. So I'm going to go h3 to stop knight g4. Okay, c4. Okay, let's think for a second. Let's not get too out of too carried away. What does this actually do? I'm a little confused. take a five strange move i'm just gonna go here I, I don't know i don't know what his moves are this is the problem oh this is his idea okay this makes sense although this hangs another pawn wait again i feel like this dude is on tilt a little bit like bishop e5 is not a good move this guy's a little bit on tilt I just have to make it a full tilt. If I take... If I play queen d7, I'm just going to take. Why not? Wait, queen c3, I just take. It takes. I have rook f1, maybe. I mean, d7 is also always hanging here. I also have queen e6 check. Yeah, okay. This this should be winning. I think it is slush for the 8 months. I get a far gia for the, for the 3 as, as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. How is it that I don't have a way to win here? This is actually very annoying. Oh, he, oh, he goes to h7. Wait, I thought he had to go to g7. If I trade, somehow I'm not winning here. Shoot, and I'm also... This guy's extremely fast, which is really annoying. Really, wow. I just have nothing. This is ridiculous. C2 and I have nothing. Yeah, this is insane. Okay, I just have to move. I just have to move. I'm just too slow in these games. This guy is just tilting out of his mind in the openings, but I'm just moving way too slowly. Here. Uh, again, I have to move. Why am I thinking so long? Thinking too long. When I get up on time, I do fine, but I'm just way too slow. What's the count? I'm still up a pawn here. I believe. I have check and takes. Here. I can't lose at least because I have a minute on the clock. I mean, this is a draw with correct play, of course. Question is how drawish is this actually? Go here. Okay, but I have a5, a6. I mean... I'm not actually sure this is a draw. It is a draw, actually. Shoot. Or is it? Wait, is this actually a draw, though? I think it must be. Let's go here. No, it's just a draw. Yeah, it's just a draw. Very lucky. He he completely tilted, but I threw that game away. Last two. Last two. I'm going to take him back below 3,000, and I'm going to stop. I was playing bad openings, but I'm just not converting. Technique hasn't been great at the end by me. I guess I'm still winning pretty cleanly, but not happy because... I've been beating this guy in pretty much every game. And because he's just moving so fast, I'm throwing a lot of these games away for no reason. Go here and take. Hopefully I didn't just blunder. I almost did just blunder, actually. I'm a little bit lucky. Yeah. What are these glasses? Oh, these are pineapple glasses, courtesy of the mods. Okay, take. So I just take. Go here. I guess I'm going to play G5. I don't really know if it's right. Who is that? It's me. I don't... Wow, he trades. Okay. Go here and takes. Like I said, this guy is very much on tilt and not playing good chess. But I'm just not converting these weird positions that he keeps getting. Like, even this is not good. But I'm just not 
I don't know how to convert it. That's the problem. I mean, maybe I just... I'm gonna go here. I don't know if this is right. Go check. Okay, that's a bad move. I go h5, e5. I mean, this must be winning somehow. Just h4 and open it up. I mean, e5 is a move. I guess I'll pre-move because it's a safe pre-move. I can obviously trade. I'm just going to trade in castle. Oh, great. And I just blundered again. I don't believe this. Yeah, I just blundered again. Unbelievable. Go here in King Aid, and hopefully I didn't just lose this game. So bad by me, just so bad. I should have just castled right away. It was so so bad. He goes. Wait, why did he just resign? What is he doing? I don't even understand. No, but he, the rook on h8 hangs. No, I mean the rook on h8 is hanging though. If I take and I resign, if if I take the rook, he plays queen h8 and I and I resign. I'm so I, I'm actually really just very confused. It was winning, sure, but why did he resign when I could have taken the rook and lost the game? I'm just really confused. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's focus. Okay, I can play f5 here, which I think is still a good move. I have knight g5. This knight is really bad on h6. If I play h3, he trades the rooks and goes queen g3. Yeah, very strange. Am I going to Poland? Yes, I do intend to go to Poland. Okay, he does take the pawn. I mean, I don't know. Somehow I just assume that I'm winning here. Maybe I'm not. Go here. I mean, this looks so bad for black. A lot of, lot of pressure here. A lot, a lot of pressure. Thank you to stock for the prime. Thank you to Ephesip for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. He plays 95. So, I mean, I assume I just take the pawn. Takes the pawn right. So, now I guess I go, like, here. I mean, he has knight g6, I guess. But this just looks so bad for black, objectively. Somehow this knight is just really a problem. Oh, he's got. Oh, he actually has queen f6, which of course I completely forgot was a move. Oh, I had knight e4 there. Why don't I go knight e4? Okay. And now if I go queen h4, he's got bishop f6, and now I feel like an idiot. I guess I'll go here and force him to trade. I mean, his pieces are not great. I still should be better here. It's just a question of how much better am I? Bishop on g7 is not very good either. He's got bad pawns. He gives up a pawn here. I don't think that's right. Because A, I can take. Do I t no, I think I just take first and come back. So I can always take the bishop on, on, uh, on g7 later. Okay, now I trade. Definitely take now. I'll go b3. I think b3, bishop b2 looks right. Then I have rook f2. He's got a terrible knight, terrible pawns. A bishop f6 even. Yeah, he goes f6, which I kind of expect. I can play rook e1. I think knight f3 is a little bit better. Okay, now I just come back, target the pawn. Let's go here, consolidate everything. That's just a mistake. So I can take and I can go g4. Or Yeah, he's on tilt for sure. I don't know what he's doing. I really don't know what he's doing. Obviously trade rooks. I can play rook c1. Takes just looks very clean to me, unless I'm insane. He takes and I go rook c1. Should just be winning here. Go here. Pressure is clock. Yeah, I mean, I, I obviously that's an, a possibility. I don't know what he's doing though. I don't know what he's doing. Trade. Just go here. Okay, but I mean, I'm up two pawns here. This. I mean, if this isn't winning, I don't know what is. I also can. Just, oh wait, no, he's got knight of one. So yeah, let's let's just trade. Enough. Enough, enough nonsense. No, no, no need to mess around here. This must be a winning work in pawn end game. He resigns. Let's go again. Actually, you know what? No, that's good enough. That's good enough. That's good enough. Thank you to thank you to Wesley Dungan for the five. Thank you, Dim Dimmit for the uh, 
for the two in a row. Thank you so much. That's pretty good. That's 10 to 2. That's a very, very good score. So I'm going to take a short break. Go use the restroom. We'll come back and we'll keep rolling right along. I'll be back in a second.